Hey, what's happening everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here. Welcome back to another episode in Fallout 76. I'm outside the Wayward and uh, we were last tasked with creating a sort of honeypot of sorts and basically luring some bad guys to us so that we can kill them or at least tell them to stop bothering the Wayward. <laughs> It'd be kind of awesome if we could say, hey guys, keep on bothering the Wayward. All right, but we're not going to do that. We're going to play it straight. So what we have to do, actually, I believe she also said that the Overseer's camp was right across the road. This used to be a, another location where you could go and listen to the Overseer's, oops, passed a log. Cannot leave the logs untouched. All right, that came out weird. All right, let's keep on moving. <laughs> so this was in the original game, you would get like a basic uh, hollow tape, which is the one that the Duchess gave to me, but let's grab some stuff here. So it's cool. I'm getting lots of ammo. I would like a gun. That would be nice. And here is our stash. This is where we can put stuff in that we're not using. And uh, we can store our junk. I forgot how I could scrap my junk because that stuff just adds up after a while. I'm going to take some plans here. We'll take a hammer. We'll open this up. We'll take this stuff here, too. Now, I'm still wearing my Vault 76 outfit, so uh, let's get into some fancy duds. We'll go to the Armor Workbench. You can see I got the Ronin top knot going on here. Uh, so, I believe, let me see, we can choose a light armor. And, uh, let me see, what do we want? A leather chest piece? Cool. Ba-boom! And can we build anything else? We can make a leather left arm. Nice. Anything else? No. Alright, so we'll exit the station, and someone just appeared behind me. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Good to see you, dude. I don't play this game to chat. Okay, let's equip that armor. And we'll put on some black room glasses. And what I'm going to do is, let's drop this. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm kind of a newbie at this. There we go. All right, we're moving. I'm ignoring this guy and I'm moving on. What do you think? Behind the Nuka-Cola sign? That sound good to everyone? I mean, this place... I, I kind of like, like flat areas and this place is all pure crap. <laughs> Let's get an iron mine. All right, we got some iron ore. Pick the piece up. We can use that later, or we can sell it. Maybe here. Maybe this is a good place. A crossroads of sorts. Okay, so this is where I can set my base. You can see the the perimeter of the base. It's actually kind of small, but whatever. We're going to accept that here. Nice. Now, I looked up the score thing is part of the ranking. The There's basically a battle pass system in place in Fallout 76 now. And each time you level up with your score, you get more cosmetics. It's kind of interesting, but, you know, it's just one of those little Skinner box things that, you know, just wants to keep you engaged. I'm not too sure how you can increase your score. I think it's by doing basic challenges. But I did notice it say that you will increase your score by spending atoms at the store. <laughs> That's right. You spend money to make money. Or make cosmetics. So here we go. We have acoustic instruments. And uh, we have a baseball bat rocket. Now here's the sign that we need. So we'll study that. A metal bed. A ripper. <laughs> I have no idea what a ripper is. A T-51B chest piece, an ultralight build leather armor chest piece, I'm guessing. And we got Deathclaw Wellington, sounds tasty, and some healing solve. Healing solve is going to be critical. Okay, we got those all done. Let's go back to our building. So let's go over to our, let's see if we can find that sign. There's a quest here. And we can just put this up right here. <laughs> we'll put this right right along the road. Actually, let me see. 
We're going to put it right here. There we go. That looks dreadful. <laughs> Let's move this. We'll put it right here. Let's see if that works. At least it's not floating. Okay, next we need to build a generator. So let's find that. And I believe we can find that under power. Here's our generator. Look at this. We can build one of these little guys. We'll put it right here. Okay. Now, if I recall, we now want to drag a power cable from our generator to our sign. We're going to go right here. Bingo. We got our wire. Look at this. Crane's Treasure Hunting Inc. Doesn't look suspicious at all. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do is let's see if we can build a foundation. Maybe we'll make a tiny, tiny little hut. So let's go back to our build and let's see our foundations are. Okay, so that's that. Now let's switch to, let's make some walls here. We're going to make this look like a real piece of crap. <laughs> All right, we'll add that there. Now let's add in a door. Awesome. This is my crappy little treasure. My treasure ink. <laughs> what do you guys think? Isn't this great? We should probably put a roof on this thing. All right, let's get out of here. And uh, we'll switch out. Okay, for our roof. We'll add some of these. Let me see. Can I do something like this? Yes. All right. And uh, how do we make it look like a store? Let's see if we can have something that looks store-like. We'll put uh, we'll we'll put one of these things. There we go. That looks like a total store. When I walk into this place, I think store. I think this is legit. <laughs> okay. There's one thing else we can do is we can build. I can see that there's an optional thing we can do so before we head out of here let's go back here and build a what is this a weapons thing <laughs> that's my oh look at this we can put a table here wouldn't this be nice oh look at this this looks so nice oh i can't oh this is a i have to buy it <laughs> come on gabe stop feeding me into your store All right, here's our weapons workshop. We can add this here. And there we go. All right. Okay, so our next task is to load the broadcast tape into a radio tower and activate the connection. <sighs> All right, let's find out where that is. Okay, so this is where we're heading to the radio tower. Let's do this. Okay, right there. That's our radio tower. Now, I think this is where the agricultural place is. Let me see. I could be mistaken. Oh, you know something? I need to put on my armor. That, that would be a good idea. Okay, so here's the starting. Was this Flatwoods or something? So we're going to cross over here, head up there, and I'm sure we're going to be met with open arms. People are going to be excited to see me and welcome me into the world of Fallout 76. OK, 
Okay, this is kind of interesting, walking through the woods and encountering a strange house. Very cool. Let's just check it out. And we got a workshop and a horse that's hung upside down. <laughs> Excuse me, a buck, a rag skag, rad stag, <laughs> and a pool table. Nice. Because that's what I want to do in the uh, in the uh, post-apocalypse is play pool. All right, we'll keep moving. Okay, here's where we meet the Scorched. Now playing on ABC. Now let's say hello. Love how they're just completely still. You like that. God, this pistol is so slow! Kill, 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 kill the Scorched! Alright, one down. Ow. Alright! We're wrecking these fools. Ow. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Double impact. There's two of them. All right, we discovered the tower. Thank you, game. Dead scorched. Huzzah. Great, we'll get a pitchfork, a pipe bolt pistol. Is that what that said? <laughs> All right, and we have the relay terminal here. Anything else? Um, I'm not going to loot just yet. Just want to make sure that the area is clear. There's nothing worse than, like, looting or being stuck in your inventory and then someone ganks you from behind. All right. I think we're good. Let's, uh, start our looting out here. See if there's anything. Ammo bag. I'll take it. Not too sure what's in an ammo bag. Maybe cool stuff, hopefully. Right away. Love it. A baseball grenade. Those things, like, I don't use a lot, but when I do use them, they are, like, they're always clutch for me. They're not in my normal arsenal, let's just say. All right, let's loot the bodies of our Scorched friends. We'll take its clothes. I'm sure it won't mind. You got no use for it now. And what else we got in here? Right away, we're going to be going through lots of that stuff in this playthrough. Got some boiled water just lying around. Anything else? Awesome. Gas mask. Now we can look creepy. Oh, stim packs. If I remember the last time I played this, I would end up getting like a huge cache of stim packs and then like blowing them all like in one big combat, en combat encounter. All right, we'll take all this stuff. I'm going to be maxing out my weight soon. So I will say this about the game is that it's pretty stable these days. When I first was playing this, I would be kicked out of servers and be shifted to another server, and that was just a jarring experience. I haven't had that happen to me in a long time, so they've done a nice job in that regard. Okay, I think we're pretty. this place is pretty well looted. Now let's play the message. Okay, let's do... Um, Man emergency management in case of emergency authorized users may utilize us government supplies requisition hollow tapes to connect with an automated ncra systems okay that doesn't really do anything let's do scorch detection communications all right 
<laughs> I, I always hate it when those things pop up. All right, let's load the holotape. Nuka Tapper. No. Broadcast tape. Awesome. We're going to activate the connection. Uh, I don't like how the music changed. What's up with the music, game? Oh, no, that isn't the music. That's just the sound effects. <laughs> cool. Awesome, guys. We have conquered the radio station. Our next task, then, is to head out to our little honeypot that we have down there in the valley and then take out the bad guys. I'm sure it's going to go swimmingly well and nothing bad's going to happen. In any case, thank you all for watching this playthrough. I hope you've been having a good time. If you have any hints, please feel free to let me know in the comments. If you would like to share them on the Discord, you can check out the link below. We're a pretty active community, and I would love to see you there. In any case, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you then.